transition to Kyle! Wow! Wow! Hit subscribe and click the like icon. My turn. Wow! Oops. Uh-oh. It looks stuck. No biggie. I'll just climb up to get it. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. Well, help! It happened so fast. She was just beside me and now she's gone. I can't believe it. What am I gonna do? Whoa, Kyle, slow down. What happened? Who's gone? My Stella, look! Oh, Stella's just a toy. She's not just a toy. She's my best buddy in the whole wide world. And now she's gone forever. Snatched away by a kangaroo thief. A, a kangaroo, kangaroo thief? thief? Yeah, a kangaroo stole Stella from right under my nose. Luckily, I snapped a photo of it before it escaped. I'll send it to you. Is that Stella in its pouch? Yes, I really need your help to get it back. Don't worry, Kyle. Hang tight. We'll be there very soon. That'd be awesome. I'll share my location with you. Ranger out. Ranger out. There it is. It seems our thief is a red kangaroo, the world's largest marsupial. A red kangaroo? What's a marsupial? Marsupials are a group of mammals that carry their young in a pouch. Female kangaroos have a pouch on their belly made by a fold in their skin. They use it to carry their baby kangaroos called jellies. So now we know our thief is a red kangaroo. Let's head to Australia to help Kyle get Stella back. Let's have a look. Hmm, where are you, Stella? Aha, there she is. You see her? Yeah, have a look. Stella, it really is her. But why would a kangaroo want to keep Stella in her pouch? Where's her Joey? Who's Joey? Joey's are baby kangaroos. I don't think she meant to steal Stella. She might have mistaken Stella for her own Joey. That makes perfect sense, Katie. Stella does look like a Joey, which means all we have to do is find her Joey and swap it for Stella. Sounds easy enough, but how are we gonna find it? <gasps> it's her Joey. Let's follow him. So what's the plan? How are we gonna bring the Joey back to his mom? It says here that red kangaroos are plant eaters. They mostly eat grasses and flowering plants. All right then, let's go pick some flowers. Time to go home, buddy. Stella! We're coming! Oh no! The noise from our vehicles must have frightened them. They're getting away! Kyle! We've got to try to herd them back together! Herd? Like sheeps? Exactly! You approach from that side, and I'll approach from the other. Roger that, Leo! Just a bit closer. It's working! They're gathering in the middle! Wait! Stop! We're about to crash into Kyle! Whoa! Whoa! Phew! That was too close! <gasps> They're getting away! Oh no! Oh no! Are you okay, Kyle? She was so close. I could have just reached up and grabbed her. What are we gonna do now? It'll be okay. We just have to find another way to get closer to the kangaroos without scaring them. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! It seems the kangaroo isn't afraid of the pogo stick. One of the kangaroos mistook Kyle's toy, Stella, for her Joey. We found the actual Joey, but we're having difficulty swapping him for Stella. The mob got away from us too quickly. Well, if you need to chase after them, then you'll have to hop really fast. Kangaroos hop along on their powerful hind legs and do so at great speed. 
Their muscular tail helps with balance and speed. So, we have to be quick and we can't use our vehicles. I have an idea! Ranger Rocky, do you happen to have any spare pogo sticks? Of course, Katie. I always bring extras. Look! Kangaroos up ahead! Stella! Come on, Junior Rangers. Let's check those pouches for Stella. Stella? Ah, uh, this one's a boy. This one's got her own Joey already. Leo, I think I see Stella in that kangaroo up ahead. I'll check. Katie's right. That's the kangaroo thief. Stella! Let's approach slowly. We don't want to scare her away. Go on, buddy. Go back to your mom. Aw, thanks, bud. Yes! I got Stella back! You did it! Well done, Junior Rangers! Hero! Hero, get out of the pouch! It's only meant for kangaroo joeys! <laughs> <laughs> but there's no information about it in my handbook. Here's a photo of it. Do you know what it is? Whoa, look at those ears. I've never seen a cat like that. Me too. Now let's see what we've got here. It seems the cat is a caracal. Caracals have a bunch of long black fur at the tips of their ears. In fact, the name caracal is from a Turkish word, karakulak which means black ear. Caracals usually live on their own and find their own food when they're about a year old. Aw, were you out looking for food? Huh? I'm not sure if Larry can take care of himself. Larry? I named him. Larry is definitely not ready to live on his own. I know. We can teach Larry all the tricks a caracal has to know. He'll be able to take care of himself in no time. That's a great idea, Leo. We'll be right over, Farah. Ranger out. Ranger out. Who's the clever cat? Oh, hi, guys. Thanks for coming over so quickly. No problem, Farah. So this is Larry? Yep, say hi to my friends, Larry. Don't be scared, Larry. They're here to help. Hi, Larry. We're going to teach you everything a caracal should know. <coughs> now, where do we start? According to my handbook... <gasps> ah! My notes! Wow! How did he do that? He's so fast. Look at him go! Got it! Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. Hi there, Junior Rangers. Here you go, Farah. What are you Rangers up to today? We're trying to teach Larry to live on his own. I see. Well, a caracal has many tricks up its paws to survive in the wild. Caracals are very agile. They can jump really high, up to three meters in the air. And they can also run very fast. Scientists believe that the black tufts on their ears have a few functions. One of them is to help caracals blend into their surroundings. Along with the color of their fur, the black ear tufts help caracals hide better. I'm sure Larry is in good hands. All right, Junior Rangers, I have to go now. Good luck! Bye, Ranger, Bye, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! All right, Larry, now we're going to teach you to run really fast! <laughs> Ready, Rangers? Let's go! Here, Larry, 
Larry? That's right. Catch the toy, Larry. <laughs> Faster! You can do it! He's gaining on us, Leo. What? No way! <gasps> Leo, watch out! <gasps> well, that was close. Whoa! He caught it. Nice work, Larry. Here we go. Okay, Larry, jump. Higher. You can do it. Come on, give it all you've got. Go, Larry. He did it. <gasps> Are you okay? Never better. Just hanging around. <laughs> We're almost there. Now we just need to teach him how to hide. And I know the perfect way. Three, two, one. Ready or not, Larry, here we come. Larry, where are you? Wow, he's pretty good at hiding. Not that good. Gotcha, Larry. You're not Larry. Nice kitty. Good kitty. Ah! Farah, we've got to do something. Hero, quick, use your camera to distract the caracal. <laughs> we've got its attention now. Whew! Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh no! The caracal! Let go of the camera! <laughs> Watch out! Let go! Oh no, Larry! <gasps> huh? She's grooming Larry! <gasps> I think that's his mother! I guess Larry isn't ready to live on his own yet. Now that they're reunited, she can teach him everything he needs to know. Larry doesn't need us anymore. I guess so. Let's go, guys. Huh? Aw, Larry, I'm gonna miss you too. You be good and listen to your mama now. Don't forget to practice your jumping. <coughs> Bye, Bye, Larry. Larry. <laughs> I sense an aftershock. Huh? An aftershock? Oh, no! An aftershock is a smaller earthquake that happens after a large one. Whoa! Stay away from the trees, rangers. We must look for an open area. Huh? It is just a small one. There should be no more. Phew! I hope not. But we'd better go check on the animals. The mountain gorillas live nearby. We can start with them. Mountain gorillas. Mountain gorillas live in forests high up in the mountains. They tend to live in large communities called troops. In fact, there can be as many as 30 gorillas living together. Mountain gorillas are led by the strongest silverback of the group. Silverbacks are male gorillas with a patch of silver hair on their backs. A silverback can be as tall as an adult male. Now let's go find the mountain gorillas. Do you need a lift, Jane? No need, Leo. See you guys there. Wait for us! They're nearby. Wow! wow mountain gorillas! They're so calm. It's as if the earthquake didn't happen. I wonder why. Wait a second. That's Ranger Rocky! Ranger Rocky? Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing with the mountain gorillas, Ranger Rocky? Well, I was having a stroll in the forest when the earthquake occurred. There was a huge commotion. It was chaotic. The mountain gorillas were panicking. But strangely, they calmed down once I got there. And now they follow me wherever I go. It seems the silverback leader is missing. So I'm the new leader of the troop. Huh? huh? What? It's understandable. What does their leader do, Ranger Rocky? 
The Silverback Leader is responsible for the protection of the troop. It's also his responsibility to search for new feeding grounds and lead his troop there. The leader makes all the decisions, where their home should be, when to eat, and even when to sleep. We have to look for the missing Silverback. Where did you find the gorillas? At a rocky valley down south. Then let's head there to see if we can find anything. Come on, Junior Rangers. Good idea, Leo. I'll wait here and continue to protect the troop. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Over here, Leo. I found something. Oh, no. The earthquake must have caused this. Listen. A mountain gorilla! It's coming from the other side! Wait here, Jane. We'll see what's over there. Jetpack, Jetpack activate! activate. <gasps> we found him! The earthquake must have separated the silverback leader from his troop. He's trapped! <clears throat> so what should we do now? We'll have to clear the rocks and lead him back to the others. But how? Hmm. Aha! If we pull this log out, everything should come tumbling down. Got it, Katie. Thanks, Jane. Ready, Leo? Ready. The leader is a safe distance away. All right, then. Here we go. Great job, Rangers! Huh? I was wrong. There's another one. Aftershock! <laughs> Quick, let's get out of here! Whoa! Ah! It's out of control! Hello, Junior Rangers. Did you manage to find the Silverback Leader? We sure did. Stay on Platypus One, Junior Rangers. Huh? huh? What's going on? The leader is unhappy that Ranger Rocky took over. <gasps> it's a standoff! Up? No, he is showing respect to the silverback. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Are you all right? I'm just fine, Leo. Good job, Junior Rangers. You've reunited the troop. Yay! We did it! Mission accomplished! Hit subscribe and click the like icon.